This handsome chap is called Jolly. Jolly, because he always is, and he's going to show you how to stick on a solar panel. This roof's been painted with a two-pack paint, and here we're keying the surface, which is the process of roughing it up a little bit with 120 grit abrasive pads. This might take a little bit of time, so we're going to speed up this video. You should plan on taking about five minutes to key a roof this size because it's important to get a really good physical bond with the adhesive. That hole in the roof is for the solar panel's junction box. Finishing the keying now and the next step is degreasing. Grease is everywhere and it will ruin a good adhesive bond. So get rid of it and you'll have a good professional bond. Preparation is the key to this stage You'll need two tubes of Tacon Superflex and you'll have to get it down within 30 minutes. Cut the tubes in half and squeeze out the adhesive. It's much quicker this way. We're using a spreader that has a 2mm square tooth. That big sheet of cardboard is really useful for keeping everything clean. Vital for a well finished job. Incidentally, a massive advantage of using an adhesive like Tacon Superflex is that it takes up any inconsistencies in the steel roof. What starts off as a flat sheet of steel buckles and bends hugely when welded. It's because of the heat needed to melt the metal and fuse it together when welding. This is very apparent at a join between two sheets. Because of the adhesive, we're working against the clock, but at the same time, we mustn't overbend the panels because there is a risk of putting a hairline crack in the wafers and reducing their efficiency. This adhesive is very, very sticky. Wipe it off quickly from any unwanted places and remember to keep your hands clean. Another tip for a good looking end finish is to keep the panels all in line. On the white panel substrate is a black mark. You'll notice too that the white plywood board has a round cut out of it in its center and this is to help you line up the panels. It's very important to position the weights evenly. The board spreads the load but if too many weights are placed on one side first the solar panel will slide and become misaligned. Note how Jolly is using a thin strip of ply to get extra force on the edges of the panels. In total there are nearly 40 steel ingots placed on the solar panel and at around 8 kilograms each that is approximately 320 kilograms. That force squeezes down on the adhesive spreading it evenly and ensuring a consistent moisture barrier, a final cleanup and you're done. This task should take about 30 minutes. The process here is the same as the previous stage, but I wanted to mention why we do it and how we do it. Our solar panels have been designed to fit exactly between the handrails of a narrowboat. The extra wide white bits are there to be trimmed if necessary. It means there's no exposed paint that needs to be maintained. The infill panels go where the panels can't, for example around a centre line or chimney. We make the GRP panels ourselves. The visible part is gel coat. This will be the same colour as the narrowboat's paint, in this case RAL 7016. The solar panels are about 2.5mm thick. We make the infill panels the same. This means that any rainwater will flow freely along and off the roof, a good long-term maintenance strategy. You'll have noticed that these infill panels are shiny and can be slippery. At a later stage we use a product called Raptor to add a non-slip surface. This is the final stage. Johnny is fixing a UPVC cover slip that we have made specially, the reverse side of which is keyed and coated with epoxy primer. We are using the same tack on, but this time loaded into a gun. Panels can be walked on and are made to a very high specification, again, especially for us. The dimply surface coat is ETFE, ethylene tetrafluoroethylene, and is sometimes referred to as Teflon film. We get the adhesive to stick to the Teflon around the edges by a process called solarization. By the way, the dimply effect works like a prism and enables light to be refracted onto the cells at low levels. 
Jolly is finishing up by cleaning any excess tack on with Bico or Clean. Allow five minutes to fit one colour strip. Nice work, Jolly.